right, so it was a fight this Saturday. As a matter of fact, you was, you was at that fight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Earl Spence, Spence Ugas. versus Ugas. Yeah. What was the atmosphere like? Uh, it was a uh, beautiful atmosphere, man. It was lovely night. Like, uh, yeah, a big fight like that, that was a lot. I got to see a lot. Mm. Great performance by Earl Spence. How big, like, like I'm hearing, like, the stadium's huge. Huge, like, <laughs> man. Uh, if you ain't on the floor, the ring look like... Like yeah. Small, yeah. Is that a good atmosphere for boxing? Oh yeah, a great atmosphere. They got TVs everywhere so everybody can see. And you can still see, but on the floor, every, everything you can see, everything is better. How would you feel about headlining an event down there in the future? Oh, that would be amazing. I love the opportunity. Only thing though, I'm coming out the Eagles. I'm coming out the Eagles out there. Oh, you know, bird game. <laughs> they might boo you there. They might boo you. It's cool as long as they come. Uh, uh, as far as like Ugas and uh, Spence goes, uh, what do you think of the performance? Uh, great performance uh, by Earl Spence. Like in the beginning, he ain't have his time or something. I could see like he was a little off in the beginning of the first three rounds, you know. But he uh, stuck to his, to his game plan. You know what I mean? Stayed consistent with his jab, even if it wasn't working. He like forced it to work, and once the jab started working, you know, he was cut to he finished to the body or stayed to the body. He worked very beautiful. Uh, who got caught in with a shot, I think in like the 60s, mouthpiece came out. Uh, when he got caught, I didn't think he was that hurt after he got caught. He was a little stunned because he got caught clean, but you know, he got back, uh, finished great. Both of guys, both as well. Now, you remember the sixth round, a little sequence where Earl was looking for his mouthpiece, mm -hmm. and you know, like the ref said stop, who got caught in with a real hard shot. And what'd you think of that like sequence? Uh, Protect yourself at all times. That's all that was. That was a mistake on his end. Rookie mistake, you know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? He, he bounced back from it and uh, finished with a uh, spectacular fashion. He got hurt in the uh, sixth. sixth round and sixth. ended up hurting Ugas in the seventh. Yeah. Do you feel like that was Ugas's time to make something happen in that little window? Yeah. Yeah, in that little window and in the early rounds. Like, the first half of the fight. Is it Ugas, like... At first, he was going good, but then he started catching punches, like, catching too many. Like, that shit still hurt. That shit swell up still. Mm. Like, the pro eights on that, that catching shit, you only catch it, you can't slip or something, or you're going to come right back. You catch them shots, it hurt still. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that, it, it's kind of surprised me that he decided to stand in front of Earl. Uh, I kind of knew he was going to do that. Yeah. yeah. I thought he was going to box a little more, though, but... When I watched him with Peggy, I, I think I think he was trying to conserve his energy for a whole 12 rounds, but I don't know. I think he should have did a little bit of both. Like, when fighting a, a good body puncher, you got to keep him thinking? What, yeah, keep angles? you got to. Angles. Uh, you got to use your jab. He let Earl dictate the uh, battle with the jab. He let him uh, win the jab battle. And once he did that, it's hard to be the southpaw that got a good jab. Mm -hmm. That's the hardest thing. South Pole with a good jab is very hard to beat. And he go to the body, so that's gonna set everything else up. Uh, I think slight movement would have helped him with little feints. After he done punch and turn, you know, little stuff. Little fundamental stuff that you put the work on every day in the gym. Now, uh, the fight was stopped because of his eye. Yeah, he beat the shit out of him. That shit looked like Martin off of, uh, like Martin and Tommy Hearn. That shit was bad. <laughs> I was upset I couldn't bet down Texas for some reason. Yeah. I remember the apps I had and I called it 10 and a half or less. I would have made I could have won some money on the whole card, but I couldn't bet down there. I was mad. Is it uh, that was your prediction? Yeah, 10 and a half I said the first six is gonna be good and then after that, uh and then after that I said Earl should break him. I mean, uh he, he even in the way he looked good, it looked like uh he, he he said he ain't got a nutrition or something like yeah. He uh, it looked like that helped too, cause he ain't, he ain't look drained or nothing. Like when he weighed in enough, he ain't look drained or nothing. You, you felt like that was that was what the fight was—a battle of wills. Yeah, that's really what it was. And then he broke his will. Round seven, he broke his will. It was a big uppercut. Big uppercut. Bang. <laughs> oh, every day. Uh, Ugas is 35 years old. He broke his orbital bone. Mm -hmm. 
Is he gonna be able to recover? Yeah, Kel Boot came back. He all right. They got good surgeons. He got good money. He gonna be all right. True. Him, he all right. <laughs> he cashed out. Okay. I mean, now we just wanna see the Crawford Spitz fight. Okay. Wait.